What is up, YouTube? Scrammy here, coming at you with some more video of the Sonom XP8. Now, today, we're going to do a little bit more of a comparison video. I have in front of me the Samsung Note 10 Plus 5G and, obviously, the Sonom XP8. So, I've had a few comments from people wondering about, you know, how well it runs and they're asking me if they should leave their, you know, high-end phones like their Note or their iPhone, whatever, LG, whatever, Huawei, whatever you name it. Well, this is just kind of just to give you some perspective. While I'm not trying to tell you that you don't want to switch to it, but if you're used to the high-end flagship specs, that's not really what you're going to get with the Sonom. Now, that's not saying the Sonom is not, you know, fully usable and will do most of the same stuff, but this just serves as a comparison for you guys, just so you can see before you decide to just go out and get rid of your high-end phone and get the Saint or the Sonom here before you completely switch over and realize, oh, maybe this isn't quite as fast or does as much as I wanted it to. So I'm just going to give a quick little comparison here. We're going to open some apps. We're going to open some Android things first, and then we'll move on to a second part and we'll open some games so you can see just exactly how you know, how long it takes for either one to boot up. We all kind of know exactly which one's more than likely going to be faster at loading everything, but we can't say for sure until we actually do this test. All right, so the first thing we're going to open, we'll try the Play Store. And you can see the Note booted that up faster, but the Sonom wasn't that far behind. Okay, let's get out of that. Let's move on to, let's see, bring up your calling. Again, pretty much the same. Bringing up the camera. Pretty similar. And let's see what else we can bring up here. As you can see, this is 8.1, so it scrolls up and down where the note you initially go down and then you go sideways. It's a little weird to get used to either way. I mean, it's all Android, so it's all pretty similar. So I don't really see too much of a problem with it. All right, guys, moving on. We'll continue with some more Android-based little apps. Okay, so boom, calendar. Pretty much the same per either device. All right, we'll bring this up. How about calculator? Three, two, one, calculators. So the note was a little bit faster with the calculator. But going through, if you'd notice, they're, they're really not, like when it comes to the native apps on the phone, it's not a huge difference. But when it comes to the gaming style of things, that's where, you know, the faster or more powerful RAM and better processor comes more into play. So when you're just scrolling through, hitting your apps, you're not, you know, bringing up, okay, say the phone. It's a little bit faster on the Note. So your flagship's probably going to be a little bit faster, but let's be honest, if they weren't right next to each other, you probably wouldn't notice a difference because these, those types of things I don't think really matter all that much. I think more when you're, let's see, we'll bring up YouTube because that's actually going to take a little bit more. So let's give her a chance and YouTube. And it's still pretty close. I mean, the note edged it out just a little bit, but... Not by much. Come through. Go to my channel. And let's boot up a video again. This is on Wi-Fi. So they're both getting the same amount of signal strength. Why not? So let's try this real quick. I mean, that's pretty close. The... Samsung edges it out just in the slightest. So we'll move on to a few actual 
gaming apps. I downloaded a few here just because, just for this little test. Okay, so I downloaded Subway Surfers. So let's see how they load up. Now this, I'm just going to say, I would imagine this is where the note's going to shine a little bit better. This is where your flagships are going to be able to load things up at a better rate. But I don't know because I haven't really tried yet. And we're booting. And the note's done. And we're waiting on the sonum. So yeah, the note definitely overtook that by a good bit. Get rid of that real quick. Okay, so when it comes to that game, definitely the note had that one by a long shot. Alright guys, we're going to try another game. We just had Subway Surfer. Now we're going to try Angry Birds. Well, I hit that uh, note a little late, but I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. And the note's done. And we're waiting. So yeah, close those down, I want to listen to Angry Birds. So yeah, you can see that when it comes to actual gamings and, you know, apps that actually take some computing power, the note definitely starts and runs them faster, but when you're actually playing these games, if you've, you've seen my other videos where you actually play on them once they're booted up they run just as well i'm i'm sure that some of the more high intensity games were going to look better and run a little smoother on a high-end device but again this is not to deter you one way or the other this is just simply to put out there just so you guys can see like this is pretty pretty fluid pretty fast you know it's not a huge difference but the screen it takes a little bit more it's not as soft touch it's not as you know quick on the sonum here but it's not terrible either you're just you know you're you're really coming down to whether you're okay with just having average specs or you're okay you're not okay if you have a high end phone and you're expecting to get high end performance out of the sonum you're gonna be disappointed we went over the camera the camera is not so great it works as a camera but if you're a selfie taken kind of person it's not gonna work for you but most people that buy the sonum already know coming into it that it's not the greatest powerhouse of a phone but this just serves to show you you know i would recommend this phone if you you know, just want to be able to go online, watch YouTube, you know, scroll your social medias, those kinds of things. It's not, you know, it, it'll do that just fine. It has plenty good enough sound. It's got enough power to get you through those kinds of things. But if you're a really heavy user, you're not going to get, you know, you're going to, you're going to be a little disappointed when you're trying to do a bunch of things at once and the phone's not going to do it. Let's try one more thing here. Bring up speed test. And the note brought that up a little faster. And there we go. They're both up. But let's see. We went through all these apps. Now I'm going to bring up my uh, little tray here. Bring up the tray on this and see if everything stayed. So we have our... Test, Angry Birds, Subway Surfer, YouTube, Phone, Calculator, Calendar, Camera, and the Play Store. So let's see, did this Sonom keep everything? We got Speed Test, Angry Birds, Subway Surfer, YouTube, Phone, Calculator. So it dropped off the original Play Store search. So Pretty much, it's not going to be able to open and keep 
that many things running. In all honesty, I don't ever actually leave that many tabs open anyway, but you will start to lose tabs or, you know, if you've opened a bunch of apps, you're definitely going to lose them. They're going to auto close a lot more often than they would say on the note coming with the fact that this has 12 gig RAM. This has four. The processor is probably double in the note than it is with the Sonom. Again, you're not, you know, they're not in the same league, but this was just real quick, guys. I just wanted to get you a little comparison showing you speed-wise, you know, fluidity-wise. They're both pretty similar. Um, the Note obviously looks better, has a better screen, a way bigger screen. But if you don't need that, again, the Sonom isn't, isn't a bad choice. You just have to, you know... I want you guys to see and be ready and prepared that, you know, you're getting this pretty chunky device here. Like, this is a comparison. That the Sonom is two times, two and a half times, maybe three times as thick. I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I, I don't mind the extra bulk of the phone, but a lot of people will. It's a lot heavier, it's thicker, and it's not going to be as fluid and as high spec as, say, your high-end phones. But again, just had to say this because I kept getting comments and I don't want to send you guys in the wrong direction. So, we're going to continue testing, we're going to keep smashing, and if you want to see more videos of actual smashing and bashing, go ahead and check out my channel anytime you want. It'd be cool. I'm down with whatever. I keep testing, keep smashing. If you guys like it, like and subscribe. If not, well, at least I give you some information.